Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And if you've never been here before, I want to welcome you to my channel. And I want to welcome back everybody that I have been, that's been watching me for a while. I do have some new experiences to share with you. A couple of April favorites, and I have a fail. First of all, I want to talk about my new experiences. In my little town of less than 5,000, we have one grocery store, we have two locally owned pharmacies, a really nice furniture store, a couple of convenience stores that are attached to like gas stations, and I heard we're going to be getting a Dollar Tree. I don't know if that's true or not. I try to buy as much as I can locally, but sometimes there, you just can't get what you want at, at your local grocery store. So in a previous video, I talked about I knew how to do the Walmart pickup. Well, I did something else new last month. I learned about Instacart. I'd heard about it. I went on YouTube and just put in Instacart and I learned about how it works and how the people who actually pick your groceries for you and deliver them to you. And it was just really interesting. So there were two stores that Instacart was available in the next town over and one of them was Aldi and the other was Kroger. So I just went online on my computer and I entered in my cart what I wanted from Aldi. And then I downloaded the app on my phone and magically I got it to work. And a few hours later, my groceries were delivered to my front door. I just looked online for a code for free delivery charge. So there's like a convenience charge and then you tip the person. But I tell you what, it was really nice. It seems like I had ordered like $100 worth and I think I only ended up getting $47 worth and that was fine. So your convenience charge, and then of course your tip is at your discretion. It wasn't bad at all. I was, I was really impressed. And since I was ordering online, you know, I just kind of wanted to do something different. I, I drink coffee and I drink water. And that's all. I drink coffee in the morning. I'm done with coffee by seven o'clock in the morning and the rest of the day is water. And probably 10 years ago, I quit drinking any diet drinks, but there was one that I absolutely loved. And I don't know if this, if you, if this is available where you live, but it was diet right, not diet RC the Diet Right in this can, and I ordered a 12-pack, and I put one in the refrigerator. This was probably three weeks ago. I drank it. I'll finish the rest of them, or Jim will, but it wasn't. It, it's the same formula, but I've just lost the taste for diet drinks, but I thought, well, I'll get wild and crazy and drink a diet drink every once in a while, so I thought that was kind of interesting. I successfully learned how to use USPS.com because my packages were delivered to my winners. They, you fill everything out online, you put the label on, and you notify your post office, and you just put your packages out, and they pick them up, and I thought that was pretty cool. I go to a cardiologist in St. Louis, and that's really about a six-hour round trip, and I only have to go once or twice a year. And I had an appointment on April 13th. Well, they, I wasn't going to go because, you know, I mean, it wasn't like a big necessity. But their office caught, contacted me and asked if I would do a telephone, if I was interested in a telephone uh, office visit. And I was, and so I did my very first office visit through the telephone. He had ordered some lab work and he was able to go over that. And it was really nice. Well, I have a family physician, and I'm going to knock on wood right now. I just knocked on wood before I'm saying this. I have a family physician that I see one time a year. I have been so fortunate that I have not been ill, and I did knock on wood, that I've never seen him for being ill. But I do take prescription medication for my thyroid, you know, and my blood thinner. So I called his office to see if we could do a television <laughs> I called his office to see if we could do a telephone visit and they said yes and so they called me the nurse called me and we you know got our information together and they said he'd be calling me back and it just so happened that he had an appointment just like 
free in about 15 or 20 minutes. And she said, he'll be calling you back. And it was early in the morning. It was like 8.30 and I wasn't dressed or anything. So I said, now this will just be a telephone consultation. And she said, yes. I said, not FaceTime. She said, no. Well, I had put conditioner on my hair, had my hair up on top of my head. I hadn't washed it yet. Head on my pajamas, of course, no makeup. And uh, he calls me. And so we're talking and he goes, do you have a smartphone? And I said, yeah. And he goes, how about FaceTiming? Well, this was only the second time I ever FaceTimed, but I said, okay. And I did have my visit FaceTime and it went really great. And he ordered some yearly labs. Well, I was kind of skeptical about that. I thought, I don't want to, because I didn't want to go anywhere to get my lab drawn. So I called my local hospital and they had a perfect setup. I could not have been more pleased. So when I called the hospital, they said, what you do, you just park in the parking lot and there are certain spaces that are numbered. You call, they register you by phone, and then a person from the laboratory will come out and get you. So you don't have to come in contact with anybody except for that person from the laboratory. So that's what happened when I walked in. I had I took a mask, put it on, and had my lab drawn. And I have to report to you. Okay, on March 6th is when I started eating really healthy for me. And everybody's has a different eating plan, but my healthy is low carb, anywhere between 50 and 100, really kind of moderate, moderate carb. And when I had my blood tested from the cardiologist, my blood sugar came back and it was non-fasting and it was 117, which isn't horrible for non-fasting blood sugar. So when I had my lab drawn this time, I made sure I had taken in exactly what I did the last time I had my blood drawn. So it was non-fasting and I'm very happy to report that it was 15 points down. So that made me feel so good that I bought some ice cream and for two days, I had some ice cream and then I got it out of the house. So since March 6th, I've only had two days that I wasn't just perfectly on my game with my healthy, healthy eating. So I figure every two months I can kind of lighten up and have some ice cream. I have always been really good about rotating my food, my frozen food. I have a you know refrigerator with a freezer and then in the laundry room I have a chest type freezer. Well, I was watching somebody and her name is Catherine and it's do it on a dime and she showed how she organized her freezer and that's exactly what I did. I've always had bags in there of different foods but what I did was I put all of my oldest meat in one bag like those like those large tote bags. I have my older meat that I've maybe bought in January in one and then new purchases in another and in another one I have all my vegetables. So all you have to do is lift out the bag, shut the freezer, go through what you have. And in fact, I've even, I have a sheet of paper that I have clipped to the refrigerator letting Jim know what's in each bag and what we need to use first. So I really thought Catherine's tip was excellent because there's three bags and it holds everything. There's some convenience food. He likes TV dinners. So there's some TV dinners and a loaf of bread in the freezer, but it just, it, it couldn't be easier to organize. So I was very pleased to learn about that. And I think Catherine, I mean, she's a huge channel and I just think she's very relatable. I'm gonna link a video of hers below and um, I hope you find her as pleasant as I do and helpful. Something else I've been doing since we've been home is I've been playing in my makeup more. And what I do is like, oh, probably an hour before I cleanse my face, I'll go in and I'll just play with eyeshadow or eyeliner and just a lot of different things. I've been having a lot of fun playing in my makeup, trying out different combinations. And I'll walk out and Jim will kind of look at me sometimes like, what's going on there? But it's been fun. I've enjoyed that. I don't know if you all were raised like I was, but we didn't have a paper towel in our house growing up. I don't even know if they made paper towels. But if there was a spill, I knew how my mom took care of it. She had old towels that she kept in the pantry that were washed. And if something spilled, she used those and she rinsed them out and she washed them. I do very similar. Jim uses paper towels like I cannot believe. He'll spill something, he'll take a wad of paper towels, he'll clean it up and throw it away. Well, I, I just think that we don't need to do that. So I've taught him a new lesson. 
A year ago, I bought these towels, and they're microfiber towels. I got 24 of them for probably, they're probably 50 cents a piece, and they're decent sized towels. Here's one right here. And I put them in one of my cabinet drawers. So now if there's a spill, he just gets in the drawer. He uses one of these. There's a laundry basket that we drape it over, rinse it off and then put it on there. And I tell you what, we probably have used one roll of paper towels in the last six to eight weeks. So, and then I do also have in my laundry room, I have like three towels that are old that if I have a major spill, I use that and then I rinse it out, wash it, and reuse it. I only have one favorite of something that's new that I've purchased in the last couple of months, and it's a silver bullet, and I'm really, I'll tell you how I use it, and I'm really pleased with it. I like to put a certain amount of berries in a bowl, and then I put a little bit of swerve and cottage cheese. Well, I, I buy the bags of fruit that are mixed berries. So what I do is I'll pick out the strawberries and put those in a Ziploc bag, anytime, a small Ziploc bag anytime a strawberry comes out because they're pretty large. Well, I've got something new that I'm really enjoying. Here's the, here's the bottom of the Magic Bullet. It's a very small footprint and I keep it in the cabinet. Well, what I do, and then it has the, you probably all have these, but so anyway, I put my berries in here, I put a little bit of water, a little bit of swerve, cottage cheese, and then I put this on and turn it upside down and just kind of pulse it. And I tell you what, it tastes delicious. So I have been using this several times a week and I'm drinking my cottage cheese and my cold fruit and it tastes, it tastes just like dessert. So that I wanted to share that with you. I do have one fail, but before I talk about that, I want to show you. Several people have asked me why I store my lip glosses upside down. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this is my rose julep I have on. It is right down here to the B. All of the gloss comes down, and when you open it, so it's right down to there, and I just find I can use up my gloss better this way. This is my second rose julep, and I'm about to use it up and that makes me happy. Okay, I was starting right here on my face was starting to bother me and kind of make kind of itchy and I thought, I wonder if it's a shampoo that I'm using, if it's bothering, if when my hair touches my face, if that's what's making it itch. So I went to Amazon and I, per I, I searched and searched and I found some free and clear shampoo and conditioner. And this size, I think, was like $27 for both of them. I used them three times, and I didn't like them. I can finish them up. It's not a problem. But my hair was just like straw when I got done with this, and I really didn't think the conditioner did much. But these are free of dyes, fragrance, lanolin, protein, parabens, formaldehyde, and other preservatives, sulfate-free, betaine free and gluten free may may be helpful for a lot of people it did get excellent results but it just did nothing for my hair i did find out what was causing this when i a lot most of the time when i am online when i'm watching youtube videos i'm in my living room and jim's here 24 7. that's okay it's good but i have on my earbuds and there's a cord and I, it plugs into my laptop. Well, that cord was rubbing right here, so that's what it is. So now I just put them in here and go around my ear and it doesn't bother me anymore. And if you're still here, this is gonna be a giveaway. I am really excited. You've heard me all speak so much about the Ultra Reward Dollars. Well, I have $125 that I am going to give to one of you. And if you don't live in the United States, I'm going to give you a hundred, if, you, if your name pops up, because I'm just going to have one winner. I'm going to have something that I can send you or an e-gift card or something to the your country. There is absolutely nothing that I'm needing, and I still have quite a few ultra, doll, ultra, oh, 
and I still have quite a few Ulta reward dollars. So that's why I want to share it with one of you. So like always, this is international. You have to be 18 years old or older. You need to be subscribed to my channel before this video goes live. And my, my giveaways only, they close in three days. That way, somebody who really watches me is the one who usually wins, I believe, most of the time. And because this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to these comments, anybody that's entering the giveaway. But if you go to any other video that I have, just leave a question or a comment and I'll get back to you. Okay, in the comment section below, if you want to be entered, tell me something that you would like from Ulta. If you live somewhere where you can receive an order from Ulta, and if you live someplace else, tell me something that's comparable that would be good in your country. It, whether it's PayPal, an e-gift card somewhere, and I will announce the winner next week. I hope you all are doing as well as you possibly can. It's been such an interesting month. So I've learned so many things. It is all good. You take care and I will see you in my next video. At your local. So I just and I wrote down, you need to be in your car, so I'm going to link her video. I am excited. I am going to give away that he, we put it 